Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that and as always I appreciate you. So what we have here says Strombolian eruption out Mount Aegon ash up to 18,000 feet. Activity at Aegon vo Volcano in Bali, Indonesia continues to fluctuate at high levels. A notable Stromboli eruption took place at the volcano on Friday, January 19, 2018, with the ash cloud topping top reaching an altitude of over 18,000 feet above sea level. The activity at Agong Volcano continued to fluctuate at high level this month following the first eruption since 1963 on November 21, 2017. So, I mean, this thing's, um, you know, it's been pretty active since, you know, that November 21st date, and, and it's still ongoing. So, I don't know, you know, if these kind of smaller eruptions if you will it is going to turn into something much larger but it's still it's still you know uh, good to keep an eye on this volcano because it has been super active and there's also been lots of reports of dormant volcanoes becoming active also heading into this year um, so a lot more volcanic activity um, spilling over into 2018 continuing from 2017, but the article goes on to say that visual observations as well as seismic deformation and geochemistry data indicate that the eruption was continuing, uh, though deformation data in recent days showed a stagnant trend, BNBP said earlier this month. Now, as of the morning of January 4th, the agency noted that there were 70,610 evacuees spread out in over 240 shelters. Now, the exclusion zone was adjusted to 3.7 miles in all directions that same day, allowing thousands of displaced people the option to return to their homes. Now, an estimated 17,115 people in seven villages in seven villages have residents within that six-kilometer radius exclusion zone. The PVMBG reported that during January 3rd and and 9th. Gray and white plumes rose as high as 8,202 feet above the crater rim and drifted in multiple directions. Gray and white plumes rose as high as 1,640 feet above Agong's crater and drifted south, southeast, and east between January 10th and the 16th. An event of, at 17.54 local time on January 11th produced an ash plume that rose 1.5 miles above the crater rim and drifted northeast, likely causing ash fall in areas downwind. And another event at 7.23 on January 15th generated an ash plume that rose uh, over 1.2 miles. Now, as of January 11th, the BNBP estimated that 53,207 evacuees were spread out in 233 shelters. The alert level remained at 4 on a scale of 1 to 4, and the exclusion, the exclusion zone continued to be at 6 kilometer radius. So again, not a huge amount to report on, but yet another uh, significant eruption, if you will. So Mount Agong, it's been pretty active since uh, November of last year. So it's just something to keep an eye on, um, possible future larger eruptions, you, you know, you, you don't know. So we're, I'm going to keep an eye on this, and if uh, any more activity comes about, I'll get that out to you guys. But other than that, be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.